Okay class, today, what we're going to do today is create a composition picture using only construction paper. Now, the trick is, since you've already used the transfer paper and you pretty much know what's, uh, what it can do, you can use this transfer paper as a guide. This will help you... Um, yeah, this will help you with your picture and also provide the type of colors that you need. Now, crayons, markers, and colored pencils, we're going to put this to the side. The only thing we're using is construction paper. So, let's begin. We'll start with step number one. All right, first, what you'll need is your reference picture. Mine is Superman. Now, for those who know how Superman's costume is, what, what should you need? Number one, you'll need at least a blue construction paper, but you make sure that you're very well aware of your character's clothing. So, this is what this is how we'll get started. Now, here's the process. The dark side will go on top of the construction paper, showing only the light side. And what you've learned from the transfer paper, you'll take your pencil, you'll trace the outline of it. Be very careful and make sure that you get the lines. Do not create lines that are not there. So get the outline of the of your of your person, which is this case, it is the man of steel for me. Okay, I should have my outline. Okay, that's a start. Second, you can use the Sharpie marker to trace the outline. Okay, now you can also add the, you can also add the outlines inside of your artwork if you can, or if you like. All right, so we're, all right, so we got the, we got the chest frame of Superman. Now with the scissors and what you've learned and what you've been practicing with your geometric shapes is to cut neatly on the line. And make sure that you're cutting neatly on the line. You're not chopping the outline of your shape. In fact, can somebody tell me what type of shape this is? If you said organic shape, you are correct. Because remember one thing about organic, uh, organic shapes. You don't need, you can draw these freehand. And this, is a, and this is an organic shape. This is a freeform shape. All right, I got my, I got my, I have my first shape. Let's go to the next step. Now, only thing that's, only thing that's needed is the cape, correct? And what color is Superman's cape? Red. So, I will only need red, red construction paper. 
This is cardstock paper, but remember, we're using the construction paper as the color. No markers, no color. You may think this is tedious work, but I can assure you it's not. All you have to do is to take the time and apply yourself and you will master this. This, this activity is not intended for any student to rush during this activity. Okay, let me go ahead and get my red. Let me go ahead and get anything that's red. First, I'll start with the cape. I'll trace this outline. I'm going to go through the face because I will replace it. The face will go over um, the cape. Okay. Hmm. And also, I'm going to get this too. Okay, I got my cape. You can also go over it with the outline of the marker, or in your case, the Sharpie marker. And make sure you get the outlines as well. It may seem like this is a lot of work, but trust me, it's not. As long as, as long as you apply yourself, you can master this. Make sure you cut all the make sure that you cut neatly on the lines. Okay, I got my piece here. And I think Superman is almost ready. I got the K part for most of that. And make sure that you continue to cut neatly on the lines. Do not chop the scissors. Oh, I'm sorry, do not chop the paper. Take your time. Do not rush. This is my first time doing this demonstration, so hopefully this is be this will be very helpful for you when you're doing your project. And also make sure you put with your shapes as well. Okay, I got some more. Sh All right, I think we're looking good. As a matter of fact, this is what else I'll do. I'm what since I have this red construction paper, I'm also going to get Superman shoes. And I think his um uh, his underwear as well. Whatever you do, do not rush. Take your time. All right, there you go. Trace it with the outline with the marker. All right, here we go. Yeah, I'm gonna cut this again as well. And 
and the man's steel should be coming along quite nicely. Just take your time to get through this. And I'm going to get the shoes as well. But be very careful how you use this. And also, one more thing too, kids, also use a straight edge scissors. Don't use the the edge, the edge uh, funny shaped scissors. Unless you're using that for grass, but when you're cutting the materials out, Please be, very, please be mindful to use the straight edge scissors and also do not horse play with the scissors. Okay. All right, everything is missing. Everything is done except for the S. So. Let me go ahead and get the S as well. There we go. All right, so, and also make sure that you kindly dispose of your scraps and make sure you put them in the scraps. Do not ball the scraps. Whatever you do, do not ball the scraps because they can be used again. Okay, next. I'm going to get the rest of the Man of Steel's legs, okay? And I hope y'all are seeing, hope y'all getting the picture to do here. So, because step by step, everyone will, will eventually will do this as well. Because remember, also, if you have the same color, please get all the color that you need out of this construction paper. All right, I'm going to trace. I'm going to trace the outline of this so I know exactly how to cut this. Take your time. Don't rush. This is also a great activity to develop your motor skills. Put the marker. Put the top back on the marker. Okay, and it also helps if you put all your stuff together so you'll have a good idea for placement. Okay, and I think these belong here. Okay. All right. I think we got the we got the body of Superman. Only thing that's missing is the hands and the face. But we're gonna get to that. So next step, we're going to develop a background. Let's go. And that's gonna be our second phase. We're gonna create a background scene.
I'm gonna use this paper, blue. Uh, maybe because it's uh, pretending a worker uh, with Superman flying through the night and flying through the city. Okay, I'm gonna build me a city. And what do I need? Black paper. All right. Now, if you want to trace the outline of your, trace the outline before you start cutting, feel do so. So you'll know exactly what you're doing and how you cut and where you're cutting. And also make sure that it's aligned with the paper as well. If you need to, if you need a ruler, make sure you use it. Use it to the best of your ability. Now, I think that's it. So next step, I'm gonna start cutting. Don't rush, take your time. Okay, there's my city. Ah, well you know, perfect fit. Okay, next, I'm gonna take the rubber cement. And just remember, a little bit goes a long way. Hmm. I think this is good enough. All right, and I'll just take a little bit. Then I'm gonna make sure that all that, that the whole construction paper is neatly covered with the rubber cement. Don't make a mess. And don't let it get on your fingers. If you're using a brush, it shouldn't get on your fingers in the first place. I think that's good enough. I gotta hurry up and paste it on here because it is quick dry. So, and you can make your adjustments as necessary. So I'm gonna make sure mine is aligned with the paper. All right, I think I'm working with something here. Now, what should I add? I should add some windows, right? Of course. I mean, what type of city would it be without without windows? At least for a city for a city skyscraper. You don't have to be simple to the point. Simple is always better. Just do blocks. Okay. All right, I'm missing one more for, I'm missing one more uh, light, well, windows for the last building to my right. Now, I'm just freehanding with the scissors, but if you want accurate measures, please use the pencil.
a little messy, but we also have quick drying cement. Now, you can only use the crayons or color pencils or even markers for details only. Such in this case, I'm gonna use this. I'm gonna make some windows so that I can break up that, break up the yellow. Okay. I think we're on the roll. Now, my Superman is not yet completed. Only thing it's missing is his face and the hair, and also the hands as well. But before I get to that, I have to get the placement going placement for the Superman. And you can also rub it, and uh, you can rub the rubber cement until it dries off. And you notice, look how, look how it's um, easily drying off. So, now make sure, look at your picture, please. Look at your picture. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna place the Superman right here. So I'm gonna put a little bit of rubber cement on there. Okay, because I need to have my placement. Okay, I'll place them right here. Next, the cape, right? Yes. And be careful, don't use too much rubber cement. And don't feel neglect and don't feel discouraged if the um, if you put too much in. Remember, it will dry off quickly. Okay. Oh wow! Looks like it wants to come off. No problem. Go. Okay, your next step. I'm just gonna put the I'm just gonna put the put his red cape together. So I think it's coming along quite nicely. Alright, don't get to put the S on his chest. And make sure that it's um it's aligned with the same as your picture. And if you get if you get uh, rubber cement on your hands, just keep rubbing it. Okay. If you have glue sticks, they're very valuable as well. I know you think this might be a lot of work, but trust me, it's not. Just think about, just think of it as putting a puzzle together. I think we are coming together quite nicely. Okay. Quite nicely. Now I'm going to 
put this rubber cement. And you can also use white glue and glue sticks. We may use glue sticks in class because um, I think it's less messy, even though rubber cement is very effective, but we don't want to deal with the mess. Okay, next step. We're almost there. All right. What do you think so far? All right, we got our placement, so what we're missing? The face, right? All right, let's take care of that. I think this is about as close I can get to the face with the color. Use the transfer paper. Then you can go over the face. You make sure that you have it. I'll just give this an outline. So when, when I use the black construction paper, I have a good reference. There we go. And you know what you have to do. Cut neatly on the lines. I should hope that most that most of you are getting the picture by now. Okay, and next step. All right, I think we're getting there. Let's go ahead, add, I'm going to add the hand for Superman. And let's see if I can just push through this. There we go. Okay, so so far you see how I'm doing this, correct? I sure hope so. All right, I'm going to get the the two hands for next. Get the outline of the hands, okay? And also, I'm going to go ahead and get the, the other hand as well.
All right, I got the hands. Remember, cut neatly on the lines. Okay, this should go here. All right, I'm about to get the other hand as well. So remember, I'm gonna trace it. And I'll go over the inside. Okay, now I'm gonna finish. I'm going to finish the rest of this piece, and you'll see it in class. But the main thing what I want to accomplish by showing you this is just to give you a basic idea of what I'm looking for, of what I want to achieve. So, so with that in mind, I hope that you were paying attention. And, and know that how valuable the transfer paper can be. Now for good now for the drawers who want to draw freehand, you're more than welcome to use it. But at the same time, make sure that that you got your shapes and the, and your cutting and gluing techniques are together. So I'll show you the finished piece in class when we get started. But this, what well, my purpose is, just to show you what I'm looking for and how you can execute it step by step.
Thank you.